Hi guys, my name is Will. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, welcome, and I hope you stick around for a while. So, just to recap, this uh, channel, I really just started it to uh, to document my weight loss uh, journey after having a vertical sleeve uh, gastrectomy uh, or uh, VSG surgery um, and just the, uh, the the events that have followed since then. So uh, just to kind of recap on that, uh, I am currently 63 days post-op. Uh, so I've, I've uh, officially, uh, this past Sunday was my two month mark, woo! So my, uh, my baby sleeve is Two months old uh, if you're interested in seeing some transformation pictures uh, definitely check me out on, on Instagram at bearded and sleeved uh, and you can see my uh, transition uh, photos there as well as my um, my baby sleeve maternity uh, uh, photos will be on there as well uh, so again that's 63 days uh, post-op and as of this morning I have a, I have a total loss of 57 pounds uh, since starting the journey. For my highest weight, I'm actually down uh, 73 pounds from my highest weight, so even better. But the important part about that being is that, again, that was 57 pounds, so I've also hit uh, and passed my 50 my 50 pound mark, so that's a big milestone, uh, especially, uh, I think, because the majority of uh, research that that is discussed on how much weight can be lost after having bariatric surgery is the numbers we look at is for for the type of surgery that I have I think the statistics were 80 percent of 80 percent of patients will lose a hundred pounds in the first year so right now I'm, I'm over halfway there uh, I'm a two-month mark obviously this is uh, my weight loss is going to slow down um, which is actually slowed down a little bit right now because I'm in a stall but or a plateau um, but uh, so I, I realized that I'm not going to be losing like I have been throughout this entire year, but uh, still, it's a pretty big, pretty big milestone. Uh, so uh, that's where I'm at. Uh, Clothes-wise, uh, the length. I think the last time, in my last video, I talked about being two sizes down uh, as far as in pants and shorts go. Uh, I'm actually down another size since then. So right now, waist-wise, I'm wearing a 44 uh, in the in at any, you know, at my highest weight, uh, I was in, uh, most of the time I was probably wearing a 50, but I did also wear a 52, uh, depending on the, sh on the shorts or pants or whatever. So, uh, to be in a 44 is, uh, is pretty big, uh, difference. And if I can get down to 40, a 40 is what I wore in high school. And, uh, if you remember the last video, high school was a long time ago. So, to be able to say that I'm wearing what I wore in high school, um, that's a pretty big goal. So uh, again, I, I know I have a ways to go before I'll reach that, but it's nice to see how close I am to it. Um, so again, 44. Shirts wise, not a lot has changed in my shirt size from the last video. I'm still in a 2X, um, but I'm really in a 2X. And what I mean is, for a lot of us that wear 2Xs, 3Xs, 4Xs, there's a wide range in how those shirts fit um, depending on the brand of the shirt. So, you know, you could have something that's labeled a 2X and you could have two shirts labeled 2X and one's going to be a lot roomier than the other. So, when I originally got into a 2X, there were some of the, the smaller scale 2Xs that you know they fit but I wasn't maybe comfortable wearing them now I'm more comfortable in those shirts um, and then the, the larger end of the 2x spectrum um, they just fit even more comfortably so I'm like really in a 2x now not just you know just putting my toe in the water so to speak with the 2x so so that's where I'm at there and I have I still have 3x shirts that I wear but they're 3x shirts that I had in my closet for the longest time that I couldn't see myself throwing out because they were just really great shirts and I was mad that they had they really had the reason why I couldn't wear them back then was because they had shrank too much or they were a shirt that was on the 3x scale but didn't fit anything like a 3x um, so those shirts thankfully I kept and uh, and I can wear those as well so I have the the way too small for a 3x shirt that fits me so that's a that's a good thing so again 44 and a 2x is where I'm at in clothes 
uh, and shoes, my shoe size hasn't dropped, but man, is there a difference in how your shoes fit when you've lost a lot of weight? Because I guess because you ain't got all that fat built up around your feet uh, like I had. And for me, I uh, I for the long time, longest time, uh, I've suffered with gout, uh, flare-ups, and the flare-ups most would almost always happen in in uh, my right foot specifically. Um, Sometimes it'd be in my knee, but almost every single time I had a gout flare-up, it would be in my right foot, and uh, and and as a result of that, that is a, a bigger foot. Uh, so when I would wear shoes, I would always feel that difference. But now, uh, having lost the weight, it, it, you don't even I can't even tell that I have my big foot, or you know, uh, which is an interesting thing. There's there's been some shoes that. Uh, there's a lot of shoes that I will have tied once and then I just slip them on and off uh, and I don't retie my laces um, which is not necessarily good for the shoe but you know whatever um, and I put on a pair of, uh, of Nikes to go work out in and I'll get to that later but um, that I actually had to retighten because they were too loose uh, from the last time that I wore them so I had to actually untie them and then tighten the shoe and then retie it uh, so that was interesting um, what else so as I mentioned the the uh, the, uh, the Nike so I did I finally got it cleared and definitely uh, able to work out I'm able to work out do whatever activity I choose um, the activity I did chose choose to get back into is boxing I, I used to box a lot I used to do traditional boxing and uh, Muay Thai uh, which is Thai kickboxing and I used to do that a lot and got out of it, really lost a lot of my flexibility um, and and more specifically, I lost a lot of muscle um, over time. And so it's nice to get back into that. I just started back uh, yesterday. It was my first time back uh, in boxing. Uh, I joined Title Boxing uh, Club, uh, for those of that are you that are familiar with the club. Um, and wow, it was, amazing I sweat like a beast I am so sore today specifically my obliques are killing me from throwing all those punches but uh, but man it felt so good it felt so good to be hitting the bags again and really getting a solid workout and it really makes it clear I mean I know that I'm out of shape um, that I have been out of shape but it really makes it so obvious when I'm trying to do basic stuff. Even just like the at the end, you know, you're just doing basic core exercises. You know, doing some planks, some sit-ups, uh, push-ups, that kind of stuff. And I can't do anything like I used to do. I, I and I attribute this probably having a lot to do with the surgery as well as being out of shape as far as being able to do uh, sit-ups because my my abs are shot, and I had a big gut but it did not prevent me from being able to do a solid amount of sit-ups. I was really good at doing sit-ups and, and I sometimes I felt it was deceptive my size. Uh, people wouldn't think that I could, but I, I was able to do them a lot and I could not do them at all to save my life yesterday. So it's sad, but uh, it helps put into perspective just how much I need to work on getting back to where I was. So. You know, it's, in the end, it's it's motivating to see how bad I am right now. Uh, not discouraging, which you would think. But um, anyway, so I'm you know, I'm happy. I'm back into it, and I'll be back there tomorrow. Uh, starting out, I'm going to do three times a week, and then if I can get in an extra time, uh, maybe a fourth time a week, I, I will certainly try to do that. But uh, right now, I'm just happy to get back in there and do do what I can. Um, or else, diet wise, I uh, still pretty much trying to stick to the plan that I've talked about. I do my smoothies in the morning, uh, mostly green smoothies. Sometimes I take a break from the green smoothie and just have a regular protein shake. I especially, when I'm running late in the mornings, I'll just grab a Premier Protein Shake um, just because it's quick and I can just grab it out of the fridge and run. Um, I do try to do my green smoothie almost every day though. Uh, today I wanted to try I got a new protein powder uh, by uh, ghost is the name of the company and they do a cereal milk flavored protein uh, and I picked that up and wanted to try that so I didn't make a green smoothie specifically because I just wanted to see what the protein powder tasted like on its own and then I can kind of play around with that 
uh, when I want to add protein to my green smoothies. Ultimately, I don't want to have constantly having protein shakes. I want to just stick to green smoothies, which don't necessarily have protein in them. But uh, you know, there's a lot of advantages to having the extra protein. So, um, so that I'm just kind of figuring that out as I go along. But other than that, salads, uh, salads for lunch, protein forward dinners, uh, or vice versa. I'm still sticking with that for the most part. Um, if I don't do a salad for lunch, then lately I'll have either uh, a soup. Um, I am fortunate enough to have a company that provides lunch stipends so I can go to a few places that are right next door uh, to where I work and get lunch. And so I'm able to go next door and get a salad or a soup or something like that. And so um, they have some pretty good soups that aren't incredibly awful as far as nutrition wise. Uh, so I'll have those if I don't have a salad, but try to stick to salads for the most part. And that's where I'm at. Snacking is really, uh, not, uh, it's not really horrible. I'm doing pretty good with the snacking. I do still snack on occasion, but not like I used to. Um, at home, mostly what I end up snacking on is like a sugar-free popsicle or two. Um, tropical flavor, because tropical is where it's at. Uh, especially pineapple um, so that uh, sometimes I'll maybe you know a couple of uh, uh, quinoa or brown rice chips like just like a small handful and, and some hummus something like that but for the most part snacking is pretty minimal um, I do have an occasional piece of chocolate uh, but that's really rare and not not even remotely close to where I used to eat chocolate because chocolate was pretty bad for me so I, I could easily eat a lot of chocolate constantly but I am not there anymore and I don't actually crave it all the time like I used to which is a great thing um, speaking of cravings so cravings are a very different thing so just to clarify what I think of as a craving is something that I obsess about constantly whether I see it or or not I can't stop thinking about how I want that it's to me that's different from being just the fat guy that is sitting right next to somebody eating a piece of chocolate cake and then I really want that chocolate cake but if I'm not around a person eating chocolate cake I don't think about it so to me that's not a craving that's just a fat guy that doesn't know how to be around food I don't really know how to explain what that is to me that's not a craving though because I'm not constantly obsessing over it um, so cravings wise I don't really have a lot um, which I used to constantly crave just all kinds of junk, but I don't, I don't, I'm not like that now. And I don't know if that's gonna change. I know I'm only two months post-op, so you know that it may be that I'm just still in the, the honeymoon phase of surgery or whatever, but I, I do not have the cravings like I used to. But one new craving that I have is lemon specifically a really good lemonade. Um, just that, that tartness that good balance between being sour enough without giving you a heartburn. And I am constantly craving lemonade. And I, I, you know, I loved lemonade before, but I never craved it. I never, I was just like, oh, lemonade sounds good. I'm gonna have a lemonade today. No, 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 that's very different. So I cannot stop obsessing about it. And my, my wife, you know, thank God for her. She is, she keeps me pretty stocked. Been drinking a lot of what we found is uh, Minimade lemonade makes a pretty tasty one. That it's uh, just 15 calories, so it's really good as far as um, the you know the calorie intake is not horrible. So I'm trying. I'm still trying to watch that. As much as I crave lemonade, I realize that drinking lemonade all the time can get out of hand if I'm not paying attention to, the, to how much sugar is in it. Uh, so uh, so I'm trying to keep an eye on that. But I definitely. I uh, really crave that constantly. Beyond that, the only other craving that I've had with not being around the food is pizza. That's not as frequent, not anywhere near as frequent as lemonade, but, uh, and it's not anywhere as frequent as it used to be. I used to, because, you know, I love pizza. Pizza's delicious. Um, but I'll have that craving every now and again. But what I found that kind of helps with that, and I know there's plenty of people that have pizza that, 
you know, they'll have like a fathead crust pizza or chicken crust pizza or a cauliflower crust pizza, things like that. And they can make those and those are all good. And those are good nutritionally. Um, and you can still get that in. I am too lazy right now to do that. Um, I have bought some some pizzas that I haven't tried yet, so I don't know if they're good or not, frozen ones that uh, are low in uh, net carbs and high in protein. So I'm gonna try those out, and then probably next time I do a video after that, I'll uh, I'll see how they are, but I, I haven't tried them yet, so I can't speak to them. But one of the things I have with me right now that's really good for pizza cravings is uh, this, which is the uh, pizza in a bag pepperoni jerky. I'm trying to make sure you can see that. So this, uh, it's, if you guys are familiar with uh, the YouTube channel uh, Epic Meal Time, the guys at Epic Meal Time are the ones that made this, uh, which was interesting. I didn't know that they were the ones that made it until after I already decided I was going to eat these. But uh, pizza in a bag is so delicious. It's just pepperoni jerky. So, I mean, that's all it is. This specific one that I have, the one that I like, is the Supreme Style. But it's it's got like the sauce on it as well as the supreme pizza flavorings or whatever it, you know if you're trying to stick to items that don't have a laundry list of ingredients in them that is definitely not what you want to try it's got a lot of ingredients but nutrition wise it's really not that bad uh for half the bag you're looking at 100 calories um two carbs uh, so that's really not that bad. Uh, fat is, you know, eight grams, so that's not incredibly good. But I mean, if you're really just paying attention to carb content and calories, 100 calories and, and two carbs, not bad for half of a bag of jerky. And it's a soft jerky, so most people, I don't know, most of, most jerky I've had in the past has been really chewy. Um, not something I would suggest having, at least not this early after having uh, the sleeve surgery, but. Um, because it's pepperoni, it still keeps that softer texture to it. Um, so it's not it's not super chewy. It's just just chewy enough that I can easily chew it and pass it, and it doesn't hurt my uh, sleeve at all. And it's really good. Uh, it I mean, it tastes like pizza. It it really gets that fix uh, for something so simple. Incredibly good. It's got a nice little kick to it. Uh, the only place I've ever seen it is Walmart. Um, I don't know if it's available at other places elsewhere, but here in the Tampa area, the only place I've ever seen it is uh, is Walmart. Um, and there's two flavors, just the Supreme, and then there's just a regular pepperoni pizza flavor, which is good, but not as good as Supreme, in my opinion, because you get more flavor out of the Supreme pizza one. But um, that, you know, if you're interested, if that's something that's interesting to you, go check it out. Pizza in a bag, really good stuff. Um, it really sounds like a commercial, but I, I don't know those guys. I don't. I don't get paid or anything like that. But I just really, I like talking about food. So, <laughs> uh, what else? Um, I think that's it. Cravings wise, uh, chocolates. Like I said, I I do still have a chocolate now and again. What I found is there's a really good chocolate company called The Good Chocolate uh, Mail Order. It's not incredibly cheap, but it is so good, and there's no sugar at it. Uh, it's, so it's it's really good uh, nutrition wise. Uh, so check them out online, the Good Chocolate, um, and they uh, they have a few different flavors that are really tasty. But you know it's good that I can just have it's you know it's a little square, you know not on not unlike a a Ghirardelli uh, square that you can get. Um, but if I have lunch, I maybe just throw in one of those pieces of chocolate and have that after my lunch and it's just enough to hey I had a piece of chocolate and then I probably won't think about it again for a while and uh, so that's been good uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm forgetting but I think that's it as far as updates go um, I'm really close to getting under the 300 pound mark uh, I know I didn't talk about specific numbers just how much I've lost but uh, where I am actually at on the scale right now is 303 pounds. Uh, so again, my, my highest weight I've ever was is 376 pounds. Uh, so right now I'm at 303. I, I couldn't, for the life of you, tell me, to, for the life of me, tell you how uh, how long ago it was that I've been that low on the scale. But just the thought that I'm only, if I get four more pounds, 
I will be under a 300 pound mark, which is a huge milestone, but I mean, under 300, I have no clue how long it's been since I've been that low. I have been on the higher end of the 300s for a long time, and again, I've done a lot of working out, a lot of exercise, a lot of dieting, and I've never been not on the high end of the 300s in years, so yeah, so I couldn't tell you, but it's exciting to know that I'm that close to being under the 300 pound mark, so uh, so that's that's my current short term goal, obviously. Um, still trying to get closer to the 200 pounds. 200, 200 pounds is where I was in high school, so that's what I that's where I get that weight from. Uh, the ideal weight is lower than that when you look at the you know the the health weights like what science tells you you should weigh. Uh, I think science says that I should be 173 something like that. But if I get anywhere close to 200, I'll be ecstatic enough. But not that I want to stop. If I can keep losing weight, I'm gonna keep losing weight. This is a uh, lifetime commitment, this is a lifetime change, this is a lifestyle, um, and I am th I am thoroughly, con you know, in that mindset, and I want to stay that way, um, but I'm happy where I'm at, I, I'm counting my blessings, I'm not in any way discouraged by the scales not moving um, like I was before, because I know it's just part of the process, and if I just think of where I'm at, and how quickly I've gotten there, I'm okay with that. The rest will come in due time. Just keep doing what I'm doing. Always room for improvement, obviously, but keep going. Keep going in the right direction. I'll get there. Um, but that's it. Uh, that's it for updates. I, uh, I don't have anything else right now. I, again, will try and update you. I'll definitely update you when I uh, have, uh, when I you know, hit that, that new milestone. Um, and just, you know, just, just check in and see how I'm doing. But if you have any questions, you have any comments, please let me know. Leave them here down in the comments below. You can find me again on Instagram at Bearded and Sleeve. Hit me up there. You can direct message me if you're not interested in doing a public, uh, public questions, anything like that. Always willing to answer any questions that you might have. And um, other than that, hope everything's going great in your life. And I will talk to you soon.